hi you gorgeous prop makers and cosplay people today we're going to try and make something that I've come up with myself this is going to be a weapon for fallout cosplay that you won't see in the universe but I think will look awesome when it's done for this build you're going to need some of this stuff which is insulation foam so it's like heavy packed styrofoam it snaps pretty easy but once it's all together with some hot glue I'm thinking this will be fairly strong good enough for cosplay and a hundred percent good enough for an awesome display to start with I'm going to cut the barrels which is going to be two square tubes this is our first two pieces I'm now going to run them on the belt sander if you don't have a belt sander just use some sandpaper and basically I'm going to smooth the sides and curve off each edge now I want this to both look like a fallout weapon and a shotgun. So I'm going to do the stock section uh, fallout shape, but I'm probably going to do it in wood and then put the holes through. And when I say wood, wood look made out of this stuff. The front I'm going to wrap either in EVA or this stuff. I'm going to wrap it with an overlap like the fallout laser weapons. Same at the back and then work out where the battery is going to sit. One main battery in the center or one battery on each side. I'll have to see what I've got in my strap bin. These are my notes for the stock. I'm an amazing drawer, you can see, spectacular. This is probably the one I'm gonna go with but with that sort of wooden stock look. Might change it a little bit but I do like that fallout aesthetic. Now you could use this styrofoam for the battery however if you're in Australia these are awesome I always keep these in my junk bin after they've been used and it's extra gum so it's just chewing gum but when you take the wrapper off which comes off really easily you get this and it does have that sort of fallout rifle battery look to it when it's painted so this is probably what I'm going to use on this and I think I've decided maybe to use one in the center because it is so massive as opposed to one on each side. I guess we'll see when we come back. So I'm back and you're in the middle of the video and I can't remember what I previously filmed and didn't film so I'm just going to do a quick run through of the pieces that I've cut. So I've cut the barrels, I used a chewing gum container, I think I ran through that with you to keep those. I have cut in the wood grain into the buttstock and the reason I've done that and not left it metal is because it's a shotgun and they're usually uh, wooden. Carved off the grip, cut off the pieces that are going to stick on this, cut off the pieces that are going to go elsewhere uh, here, cut the front piece that is going to go here before having some thin EVA wrapped around it. Actually this is for the evaporate I think. This is going to be glued around here. Give it that sort of look with a gap for the stock to fit. Same will happen at the front but there'll be room for this obviously that's going to go all the way around I'm hoping I haven't lost that piece I don't see it anywhere so at the moment what I'm going to do is I'm going to start gluing I've got a nice new glue gun that I'm hoping is going to work better than the crappy one I had I'll probably time lapse this you can see where everything's going to go um, the only other thing I need to do is neaten up the trigger area obviously Someone's actually buying this now, so I need to make it neater than I would usually for a tutorial. Spend a little bit of time doing that. And then obviously once it's all together, I'll be painting it. That will probably be in a secondary video, so this one doesn't run on too long. I've just decided because somebody's going to buy this for photo shoots that I'm going to cut off this crappy foam trigger and insert a spare trigger that I've got in my junk bin. Thank you. 
just dremeled it out a little bit, smoothed it out, took the trigger out. I'm just going to sand it. As I said, someone's buying this now, so I need to take a little more time than I would usually for a tutorial. Just want to make sure it's all nice and smooth before I glue it together. It's easier to work on single parts than it is to work on it when it's all one piece. I'm not going to bore you with this. I'm going to sand the entire thing other than here because this is going to be glued over. See how we go. Okay, done a bit more. Glued the grip on and all the reblies. Use these little bits. I'm not sure what they are. Some kind of plumbing thing, but they look cool on Fallout stuff. And about to put the trigger just from an old toy gun. Made a little alcove in here. Gonna fill it with some hot glue and push it in. And it looks a lot better than that crappy foam one that was in there. Getting there. Just about to cut out the greeblies that go up here. Uh, they're kind of quite large, so this would look sort of lost. So I'm gonna put that on top of another piece of foam. Oh, and I'm using my tried and tested PVC cutters. It's just a piece of PVC with the end sharpened off. Get a perfect circle. Just a wee top tip, even though this is in foam, some of the detail can be in other things, obviously. And rivets are awesome. If you just buy the rivet and then hammer through, take this out, you end up with really nice, you can just push them in, which is what I'm gonna do now, just to give this area here a little bit more detail. And you can do the same with bolts as well. Just push them in and glue them in. Nothing beats the real deal. So rather than try and make rivets out of foam, they're light, I'm just going to pop them in. Getting there guys, a little bit of hot glue issue. That glue gun's way too hot, it's hotter than my crappy cheap one. But everything's cool. Good thing about Fallout is if it looks messy, you paint it to look messy. It's uh, post-apocalyptic. So any little glue mistakes that you've got should just come up as looking pretty awesome when you paint it. Look at that one there. That just look like a wee dent. I moved the rivet because I realized that was gonna go there in case you were wondering why I didn't put it where I'd drawn the uh, circles. Getting there. A lot of hours for something so simple, but fun little build. For the front, I am going to score some lines into this piece and then hit it with a heat gun so that we can see them and that will layer the front part. You can eyeball it, but if you want to get fancy, you can measure it. You don't want to cut all the way through. Ta-da! I honestly think that's my favorite part of working with foam when you hit it with a heat gun and see it start to appear. Okay, I was editing the file and I noticed that the last two bits are vertical and not horizontal. I am so sorry, my camera obviously did its thing. Okay, so I've made some little foam inserts. One for the very back. I'm going to glue that foam to foam. Not foam to foam because the glue will eat into this stuff. And I've made a big one for the front that's going to go in there. Just to pull that foam in a bit. Then I'll pop some rivets in and just neaten it up a little bit. I've also cut the barrels, which I think I showed you were Nerf bits. 
I've cut the uh, very, very front off. I'm going to pop these here. Just so it looks like there's a barrel exit on the front rather than that little hole that you usually see. There we go. Looks a bit goofy now because they're orange, but it'll look cool when it's painted, I think. So I'm just going to glue this in now and uh, add some rivets, and then we'll see what we're up to. Said as well, just so that you know that I've done it, I am hot gluing this to the flat part and super gluing around the edge, just in case I wasn't clear. Just to be update, I've glued everything in. You can see that's, I haven't run through it because it's simply gluing. I've added a little bit of extra foam here just for some structural integrity on the additional piece that I added. And I'm about to add a little bit of texture just for painting it up onto this dowel rod. And I've just done that by cutting the heads off a couple of darts. These are the sturdy foam darts. I think they're Busby. And I'm going to just glue them over and maybe add an additional layer. I'm going to do that at the front and at the back as well. Back, front. And that's what we're up to. And we're nearly at the stage where we're going to um, give it a spray coat. I'm just going to add a few extra greeblies on and work out where those all important yellow wires are going to go that go from the power cell to the front charging vents. Just adding a little bit of extra foam without gluing it together, obviously. Keep that open. Because we want to glue it together once it's on. So one, another wee bit. All glued in. I'm going to add my usual irrigation knob. You get these in the hardware store. I think they're for um, lawn watering systems or something like that, but they add a really nice touch to the back part of the fallout rifle or shotgun in this case. So I'm just going to cut those little nubs off and then just glue it in. It's got a nice handy little spike. So we'll just push right in and glue it in, in place. Give it a wee sand just so it's easier to paint. It's easier to sand it before you glue it on. If I didn't mention, by the way, I sanded the barrel ends as well before I glued them on. Nearly there, guys. Sorry for the background noise, the aircon's on. Way too hot. Okay, so for the wire, I don't have any actual yellow electrical wire. That's what I usually use, but I have got this. I think it's some kind of cleaning thing from the hardware store. It's got wire in it, so you can bend it to whatever shape, and it's foam. So I'm gonna spray this with yellow Plasti Dip and hope that it looks like yellow electrical wire when it's done. Now for the front parts, just to be funny, I've got some lanard shells. I think that might be a little bit too small. I thought it might be funny to use this because it's actually a Busby shotgun shell. And given it's a shotgun, I thought sanding that back, taking the restrictor out and then pushing this through, it fits perfectly. I think that'll look cool on the front. So that's what I'm going to do. And the other end obviously will somehow connect to the battery. I haven't worked that out yet, but we will. So that's where we're up to. If you don't have this, obviously, I don't even know what it's called, you can just use uh, electrical wire. I'm just pushed for time because the guy who's buying this is buying it uh, for a supernova, which is this coming weekend. And I wanna make sure that it's good quality for him and that I get it to him on time. And I think this stuff's really cool. I'm hoping it looks good when it's painted. I'm gonna paint this separately yellow. So that if it looks crap, I'll have to go out to the shops and get some actual wire. The good thing about this as well is you can bend it into shape and also it's a lot lighter than the heavy yellow electrical wire. So that's where we're up to. I'm just going to pull the plug out of this one and glue it in. So for the back bit that goes near the battery I am again raiding my irrigation box and I found some slightly bigger irrigation knobs. These have got some really nice little detail here turbo something or other and I'm going to melt a hole in and this stuff squishy it will 
go inside so it will look like it's connected in there at the other end of the shotgun I'm hoping that looks okay I think it will here we go it'll be glued in there it'll be glued on near the battery and I'm calling it done I could keep adding little greeblies but sometimes you can add too much and it ends up looking silly I like everything on a prop to look like it's got some sort of function so next up is painting it that will be in the next video that goes up on my channel I'm going to put the wires on last so I'm going to paint this entire thing and then put them on and dirty it up there we have it the double barrel fallout laser rifle shotgun boomstick whatever you want to call it I think it's gonna look pretty cool when it's all painted up I guess we'll see you in the next video thanks if you stuck with me throughout this as always if I've left anything out you've got any questions just pop them in the comments below or check out my website where I'll be writing up a full tutorial sort of blog post on this one as well once this video goes live I think that's it the foam tubes are outside with yellow plastic it we'll see how that sticks to them make sure that that's nice and sturdy for the guy who's buying it I'm sad to see it go it's a cool thing I'll probably make another one as I said at the start of this video if you use this idea of a fallout shotgun using this sort of aesthetic I'd really appreciate a shout out because I came up with the idea myself that's it as always thanks for watching really appreciate it if you haven't subscribed I'd love it if you did that I'm trying to build my subscribers and if you found anything useful in this video give it a wee thumbs up if you hated the video give it a thumbs down I guess but I'm not sure why you would hopefully you can see all the hard work that I've put into it next video painting it have an awesome day guys thanks very much for watching nerf and stein out